okay guys so welcome back again so in this video let's see that how do we implement the read more button so typically in some of the applications you see that you have a read more button if you click on this button you see all the text and if you click on read less you see lesser of the text or you see the truncated text so this is what we are going to do in this video so let's get started so currently what we have here we simply have a very basic react application with a single paragraph here and a button here that says read more so the first thing which we are going to implement is this that we need to see that how do we truncate this text using css so for that what we can do we can directly pass in some inline css styles to this paragraph tag here so we can say style and here we need to pass in a couple of things so firstly we need to pass the line clamp thing here that is to clamp the number of lines so for that we are going to use the webkit line clamp so webkit line clamp would be two and this can be depending on your choice whether you want to truncate it to two lines or you want to have three or four lines let's simply keep it two here so the next thing which we need to pass here would be the box orientation so we can pass in webkit box orientation here webkit box orientation and this orient would be vertical and the third property which we need to pass we need to pass an overflow hidden so if we pass an hidden here and then the last property that we want to pass here would be the display property and that would be set to webkit box not webkit flex but webkit box so let's save this so if we save this we see that we are getting the truncated text here that that is only like we can see only two lines and if we change the line clamp to three here we can see three lines here but we do not see the extra lines which we have in this paragraph so now let's implement this read mode button here which can toggle the full paragraph and truncated paragraph so let's create in a state variable to keep some state so use a state is open set is open and initially it would be false that is initially the paragraph would be truncated so now let's toggle the state of is open by clicking on this read mode button here so we can say on click we can toggle the state so we can say set is open would be not as open that is we are simply toggling the state so let's save this still nothing changes here but let's implement one more thing that is whenever we toggle the state that is this open state we want to toggle the read more text here so if we click here it always says read more so we can toggle that state as well of read more so we can simply say like this that is is open if it is open then we want to read less otherwise we want to read more so let's do that first so it would be read less like this so if we save this and if we reload the page we can see that we are seeing read more and we can toggle the state of the button or the text of the button so now let's target the paragraph here so we want to apply these styles only when this is open is true so what we can do we can extract these styles into a into its own constant so we can say const paragraph styles equal to these styles and then we can apply these paragraph styles to this style if is open is false so we can say is open if it is open then we do not want to apply any paragraph style so we can simply pass in null here otherwise we want to apply the paragraph styles so if we save this we see that this seems to be working here but there is a catch so let's say our paragraph or our text is not so long so let's say we only have this much text here that is only this much text here so we see that uh, if we save this we see that though we only have two lines of text we are not uh, seeing three lines of te text but still we are seeing this read more button so somehow we want to disable this read more button if the paragraph is within three lines of text or equal to three lines of text and not and not more than that so how do we do that it is pretty simple to do so what we can do we can create an another state variable here that is use a state to whether show the button or not show the button so we can simply say show read mode button and initially we would be simply passing it false here that is we do not want to show the read mode button so if we sh uh, if we simply render out this button that is show read mode button if it is true so we can do it like this 
so we see that the button is lost here and even though if we have more uh, more uh, more text here we still do not see the button here so somehow we want to toggle the state of this read more button somehow depending on whether the text is like uh, more than three lines so what we need to do we need to calculate the scroll height of this paragraph versus the client height so we can do that inside as use effect hook so we can say use effect like this and we want to fire this use effect on component load or on component mount and here what we need to do we need to pass a ref to this paragraph element because only then we can calculate the height of this paragraph element so what we need to do we need to create an ref here so we can say const ref equal to use ref like this and initially it would be null and by default it is null so let's pass this ref to this paragraph here so ref would be ref like this and inside this use effect hook we can check that if we have ref dot current that is that is if it is not undefined or null we can simply toggle the state of this read more button depending on or let me show you one more thing before toggling the state let me simply console log something so console dot log ref dot current dot scroll height comma uh, ref dot current client height so if we save this and if we have a look at the console here we see here that the scroll height is 168 whereas the client height which is the site is only 72 so what we can do we can say that we want to show this read more button if this scroll height is not equal to client height that is not equal to this ref dot client height so if we save this we see that we see this read more button here and if we click read more we are able to do so and whereas if we simply omit these number of lines and we only display two lines we see that now the scroll height and the client are height are both same so therefore we are not seeing the read more button and we also do not want to see, see the read more button because the text is only in two lines here so this is how you can implement read more button inside your react applications and that's all about this video so if you like the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel so thank you bye bye tata take care have a good day and have a great day